we will see the structure of the layers of the atmosphere now. Different layers of the atmosphere. Troposphere, it extends up to 12 kilometers. Okay, the troposphere, we, write, we wrote it on here. We will write how many kilometers it is. It's 12 kilometers. Okay, we write the first atmosphere. We will see the second atmosphere. Okay. As the height increases, temperature decreases. It is the region of water. This this place of the, the place of the water, I mean the clouds like this, it's on 12, 12 kilometers. Part of the atmosphere is the most dense. As you climb higher in this layer, the temperature drops from about 17 to minus 52 degrees Celsius. In As you go higher, the temperature drops and it's more dense because all the oxygen is here. The troposphere on an average Temperature drops by 6 degrees Celsius for every 1 kilometer height. Almost all weather is present in this region. The tropopause separates the troposphere from the next layer. The tropopause and the troposphere are known as the lower atmosphere. Stratosphere. The stratosphere starts just above the troposphere and extends to 50 kilometers. Okay, this is the second layer, the stratosphere. It's 50 kilometers. We will write here, 50 kilometers. Till now 62 degrees. This is the second layer. 31 miles high. Compared to the troposphere, this part of the atmosphere is dry and less dense. The temperature in this region increases gradually to minus 3 degrees Celsius due to the absorption of ultraviolet radiation. The ozone layer which absorbs and scatters the solar ultra... Okay, we saw the ozone layer now, above, above, the, above the stratosphere. It changes its thickness. It's about 10 meters, this. One kilo. We will put one kilometer the layer of the ozone. Violet radiation is in this layer. 99% It deflects the ultraviolet to everybody knows this. Of air is located in the troposphere and stratosphere. Mesosphere It is a cold region. The mesosphere starts just above the stratosphere and extends to 85 kilometers. Okay, it's 85 kilometers. We will write it here. 85 kilometers. The first layer, troposphere. Second, stratosphere. The third, ozone. The fourth layer, mesosphere, is 85 kilometers. This layer, the air is less dense. Here becomes denser and it starts less dense. After about this, there is no oxygen. It starts a uh, vacuum. It's like space. And this is the coldest region. That is 53 miles high. In this region, the temperature falls as low as minus 93 degrees Celsius. It falls minus 93. Says, as the altitude increases, the chemical molecules are in an excited state as they absorb energy from the sun. The mesopause separates the mesosphere from the next layer. Thermosphere. The thermosphere starts just above the mesosphere and extends to 600 kilometers, that is 372. Okay, we will write in 600 kilometers and this is the fifth layer. 600 kilometers. Okay, this is the fifth layer, the thermosphere. Why it's called thermosphere? We will see why. Miles high. The temperature goes up as the altitude increases. Temperature in this region can go as high as 1727. The temperature can go as high as 1727. Yani you can melt platinum, you know, not gold 1,000, 1,727. 
and in platinum belts. We cannot melt here with the oxygen platinum. In this layer, platinum belts. Before it was minus. Yes, yes, it's minus 50, uh, 100, uh, uh, 2, 3, now it's 2,000, be careful. Strange, 2,000. How the shuttle is? It's going 2,000 degrees, we see now. Greece Celsius. Chemical reactions occur much faster here than on the surface of the Earth. This layer is known as the upper atmosphere. Ionosphere. It extends to a height of 400 kilometers. Okay, this is the sixth layer. The ionosphere. How many kilometers? 400 kilometers. The ionosphere. Let's extend. This is the sixth layer. This, this layer contains ions. The ionosphere reflects radio waves. So ionosphere reflects radio waves, okay? Keep this in mind. That intercontinental radio communication is possible. Exosphere. This is the outermost layer of atmosphere. Okay, the exosphere is the last. How many kilometers it tell? Maybe it's 500 kilometers. Okay, all of them is 1,200 kilometers. The the layer is is now become seven layers: the troposphere, stratosphere, ozone, mesosphere, thermosphere, ionosphere, exosphere. Okay, we have seven layers. Okay, we will see a verse from the Quran what it says: "It is He who created for you all that which is on the earth." Then he directed himself to the heaven and made them seven heavens. And he is knowing of all things. He made them seven heavens. This is the seven okay. We will see another one. He created seven layers in heavens in layers. Layers. Do you see in the creation of the most merciful any inconsistency, inconsistency, any, any fault you see in the sky? Do you see any breaks? He's speaking about seven layers. We will see another verse. Do you not consider how God has created seven heavens in layers? Created. Consider the seven heavens and the earth and what does it exalt him? It's written again about the seven layers. Okay. If you watch, open Google and you search the, la the layers of the atmosphere, nobody will tell you that it's seven. Somebody will tell you it's four, it's five. Somebody will tell you three, somebody six. Look, this is another place. I will just show you. If you tell somebody it's seven layers, no, it's five. He tell you, look, I will just will put so that you see. Here is telling it's seven, it's five layers. Troposphere, stratosphere. Look, if you open Google anywhere, Wikipedia, it's telling you it's five layers. Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, exosphere. It's not telling you seven. He will tell you the book is wrong. Okay. We will continue. We will listen to this guy. Mesosphere, thermosphere, and look, there isn't the ozone, and there isn't the ionosphere. He's telling it's five. It's tropopause, stratopause, mesopause. The thermosphere. Where is the ozone? Where is the ionosphere? He's telling it's five. If you search the internet, he will give you. Missing information, not uh, because they don't know the old layer. That's the, that's the whole story, not something else. Exosphere. Troposphere is the lowermost layer of the Here it's telling, it starts from 4 to 12 miles. The other guy, it said it's 12 kilometers. It's different now. Atmosphere, and it contains half of the Earth's atmosphere. 
It begins at the surface of the earth and extends out to about 4-12 miles. Air we breathe is present in this layer. All the weather changes take place in this layer. Above the troposphere is the stratosphere, which it... Okay, the stratosphere. He's speaking about the stratosphere. We wrote here it's 50 kilometers. Here it's telling it's 30 miles. Okay, it's growing. Correct. But he's speaking about the ozone layer now here. Why he didn't tell before it's five? Why he didn't write that there is ozone layer? He's speaking about it. Extends to about 30-35 miles above the Earth's surface. Ozone layer, which absorbs hot... You see he's speaking about the ozone layer, but he didn't write in the layers. He Four days me. from the sun is present in stratosphere. Jet planes fly through this layer of atmosphere as it is the most stable there. Mesosphere lies from about 35 to... He's speaking now the mesosphere. 50 miles above the surface of the Earth. The air is very thin here and molecules are great distances apart. In this layer, the temperature begins to fall and reaches a low of minus 184 degrees F-120 degrees C. That's why this layer is also called cold layer. Meteors usually burn up when they enter this layer, and therefore they don't reach the Earth. Thermosphere is the fourth layer of... Okay, he's not now speaking about the thermosphere. Thermosphere, and it lies from 50 miles up to about 400 miles from the Earth's surface. Space shuttles orbit in this layer and... Look, you, you listen to hear what it's telling? Look what it's telling. Space shuttles orbit in this layer. Space shuttles orbit in this layer. Which layer? Thermosphere. Here, this is the thermosphere. Yani it's about 200, 300 kilometers. The space, the orbit, it's about 300 kilometers. It's orbit in the thermosphere layer. About 300 kilometers. This layer is also called the upper atmosphere. Temperature is very high in this layer. Look, if the temperature is 2000 degrees in the thermosphere, the shuttle orbit in this, under the thermosphere they orbit, because it's 2000 degrees, they cannot orbit in this layer. And it may even reach above 2000 degrees C. And it's 200 kilometer only. The, the orbit of the shuttle. Exosphere is the outermost layer of... Okay. He now is speaking about the exosphere, but forgot the ionosphere. He didn't speak about the ionosphere. The ionosphere is a very important layer. We will speak about it. He didn't mention. It's the five layer and the ozone. And he didn't speak about the ionosphere. The atmosphere and extent. Okay, we will, we will, I showed you just to take idea if somebody tell you it's five layers or four layers or six layers. Here, he didn't speak about the ionosphere. The ionosphere layer, it's a big deal. We will speak about it.